It's going to take a lot of technology to design the fuel-efficient powertrains of the future. And this is where General Motors is going to do a lot of that work. It's called the Global Powertrain Engineering Development Center in Pontiac, Michigan. And it's a very efficient facility, brand new, and that's going to save money in the hundreds of millions of dollars every year. This is linked in with global facilities around the world, and so really it enables us to leverage our resources. And finally, we have some new concepts on how to run test cells much more efficiently and rapidly, so we can get a whole lot more work done, which we need in this day of great need for powertrain development, on a significantly more efficient basis. So it, this, this is an important, important day for GM and GM powertrain. For example, this pit will hold equipment that can move vehicles in different directions with different load factors, and that can help engineers develop systems that control the fluid in your vehicle. Now, if those systems aren't there, say, for example, your brake fluid may just go to one side of the vehicle if you take a corner too hard, and you wouldn't want that. What this actually does is replace a lot of testing that had to be done at a test track before. In fact, efficiency is what this center is all about. Computerized systems mean that one engineer can monitor several tests at one time. Pallets that move on air allow one person to move hundreds, maybe thousands of pounds of equipment. And cold chambers can simulate extreme conditions that exist in nature, but not every place every day cuts down the travel, we can do year-round testing because if I go to a cold place in the summertime, it may not be cold enough. We can get to that temperature every time. 1,200 people will work at GM's Powertrain Engineering Development Center, most of them transferred from elsewhere, but General Motors will do some limited hiring of some workers who have very specific skills. Most of GM's next generation of engines and powertrains will be produced and tested here, including new hybrids, and a lot of work is being done here to finalize the system that will power the Chevy Volt extended-range electric vehicle. I'm AutoBeat reporter Jeff Gilbert.